Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to achieve this look in less than five minutes. I am a person who's always on the go, so when I'm not working at Sephora, I either have no makeup on or I just like whip something up really, really fast. So I hope that you guys enjoy it, and if you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Alright, so if you're interested in learning how I did this look, then just please keep on watching. So as always, you want to start off by priming your face, and I am using one of my favorites at the moment, and that is the Sephora Amplifying Primer. I'm just dabbing it all over my face, and then I will be blending it out with my Luxie Buffing Brush. I totally forgot to fill my foundation, but I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Raton in 2W2. And then I'm just doing the same thing as my primer. I'm dabbing it on the face and then I will be buffing it out with the same brush. And don't mind me guys, I was talking on the phone, so that's why I'm like laughing here and there. I've been loving buffing brushes lately for application. I just feel like it gives it such a nice full coverage yet airbrushed look. I haven't been using my beauty blender as much. I use it for my concealer, but yes, I am just totally into brushes right now. To conceal, I will be using this little Clinique Sampler Concealer in the shade Fair. And I'm just putting that underneath my under eyes and blending it out with my beauty blender. When I am on the go, I do not highlight at all. I just kind of do the basics, which is just foundation and concealer. After concealing, I will be setting my face with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. To warm up my skin, I will lightly be contouring with my Hoola bronzer around my cheeks, the temples, my nose, and underneath my lip just to give it a more fuller and plumper look. To warm up my skin and also to give my face some color, I will be using this Exposed Blush by Tarte. It's my favorite everyday blush and I will be applying that on the apples of my cheeks. And then for highlight, I will be using this Fenty Beauty highlighter called Mean Money and I just absolutely love it. It's been my go-to everyday highlighter and you just can't go wrong with this because I feel like it just matches like every look that you wear. For my brows, I will be using my Gimme Brow in the shade 3. All I'm going to be doing is just brushing my brows out with a spoolie and brushing the stuff on. It is so, so easy to use and if you are like a super busy person like me, you just pop this stuff on and bam, you have brows. If you absolutely have no brow hairs at all though, you will need some powder just to fill in like the more bald and sparse areas. For liner, I am just going to lightly tight line my upper lash line with this brown Sephora waterproof eyeliner. On days where I am just on the go, I have no time to perfect a cat eye. So all I'm going to be doing here is smudging this brown eyeshadow on my upper lash line. And what this does is it just helps to define the eyes and I know it does not look perfect. It totally doesn't have to unless you want it to. When you don't have time, you want to just kind of slap something on but still make it look decent. And as long as it looks good from afar, that's all that matters. To balance out the eyes, I will be smudging just a little bit of eyeshadow on the lower lash lines as well. Now just curl your lashes with your favorite lash curler. Mine is this Tarte one here. Now just apply on your favorite mascara and my current one at the moment is this Tarte one here. It's called Lights Camera Lashes. Alright, and to top off my look, I will be applying my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I am freaking obsessed with this lip gloss. It is not sticky and it actually lasts all day. You guys will not be disappointed at all. Go get yourself a Fenty Gloss Balm. I am telling you, you will not be disappointed and it smells so good. 
All right, so to finish off the look completely, I will be using my MAC Fix Plus Spray to just set my face, and that is it. I know it was super, super simple, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I do, um, especially when I'm on the go and I just want to put something on. This actually looks really, really good, um, and you don't have to put too much effort into it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am gonna be filming this look for you guys. It's a really easy and effortless five, oh my, sorry guys, my fiance is playing games and it's just really loud.